It is natural for one to develop a facade to influence how people perceive us. Some project an image of perfection to mask their basic insecurities. Others don't have the luxury of worrying about first impressions. And some people find their best intentions often backfire. Yes, we all veil our truths, but how we leave an impression is what defines us. Thank you.
My name is Mary Alice Young. When I recall my time on Wisteria Lane, I think mostly of good things. Well-maintained lawns, and even better maintained housewives. Of course, there is another side to life on this idyllic street. A darker side. One that my friends and neighbors would do anything to cover up. While we all wish to be the person our neighbors envision us to be, there are always secrets we don't want our neighbors to know. Some are secrets in name only, out in the open for all the world to see, while others find that no matter how much they try to conceal the truth, somehow things always find a way to come back to the surface. As the most successful real estate broker in town, Edie Britt has always understood the importance of first impressions. A bad first impression can cause a prospective buyer to question their decision. While a strong impression will allow you to beat prospective buyers to the punch. However, first impressions can often be misleading. When Edie first met her new neighbors, she thought she had met the perfect family. But as Edie and everyone else in the neighborhood will soon find out, there's no such thing as the perfect family. Welcome to Wisteria Lane. Now that you've created your family, the first thing you should try is moving. Using your mouse, click the floor beneath the flashing arrow to move into the living room. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about moving the camera. If you ever have a problem figuring out where you are or where you want to go, you can always move the camera to get a better view. Move the mouse to the left or right edge of the screen to rotate around your character. Or move it to the top and bottom of the screen to zoom in and out. Try moving the camera now. Excellent! With that, you are now free to explore your house and Wisteria Lane.
As you do so, look for green question mark signs around the neighborhood. Clicking on these will give you helpful tips about the object or nearby area. Have fun! The television has two actions, turn on and upgrade. Once you select turn on, being near the television will raise your happiness need. Upgrade allows you to upgrade your TV so that you'll gain happiness faster. Also, if you want to watch a different channel, click on your television again and select what you want to watch. The stove will allow you to cook meals to help fulfill your composure need. To cook a meal, first select the difficulty of the dish and then select the recipe you want to prepare. This will start the cooking mini game. To gain access to even more recipes, you'll need to score an 80% or better on all of the currently available dishes. Bon appetit! The couch has two actions, sit and upgrade. Sit will raise your composure need. Upgrade will allow you to upgrade your couch so that you'll regain composure more quickly while sitting. Use the stairs to go between the first and second floor of your house. To do so, select the stairs and choose the Use Stairs action. If someone knocks on your door, Click on the door and select Open Door to let them in and initiate conversation. If you want to enter or leave your house, you can simply click inside or outside of your house and the door will open automatically. If you want to enter someone else's house, you'll need to select the Knock option on their front door. To turn your stereo on, click the Turn On action. After you turn on your stereo, you can listen to a variety of different types of music by simply choosing the appropriate action. When you finish listening to music, turn off your stereo by clicking the Turn Off action. You just received your first alert. Whenever you receive a goal or hint, the checkbox icon will appear to tell you that new information has been added. Hello, I'm Edie. You are now involved in a conversation. To progress through a conversation, hover over one of the icons in the center of the screen to see what your dialogue options are, and then click on the line that you want to say. But choose carefully. What you say will have an impact on the flow of the conversation. Okay, as Fairview's number one real estate broker for two years running, I feel it's my obligation to show you around your new house. Do you mind if I come in? Thanks. Now let me give you a little dirt on this place. Sometimes people have a lot to say. In those instances, a continue button will appear in the middle of the screen instead of the face emoticons you typically see. Click continue to hear more of what the other person has to say. This house was actually built on an ancient Indian burial ground. Wow, I didn't think you'd be excited about that. You're kind of weird, you know that? Fortunately, I was just kidding. Besides, do you think I'd really tell you if it was? What kind of a saleswoman would I be? There have been a few newsworthy events on this street, however. Moving on. This is some nice furniture you have in here. Wow, nice big TV. Actually, I just remembered that I have an appointment I need to get to. Houses don't sell themselves, you know. <laughs> Believe me, I wish they did sometimes. Anyway, if you need anything, call me on my cell. Here's the At the number. end of a conversation, an exit button will appear in the lower center of the screen instead of standard dialogue options. Click exit to leave the conversation. Primary goals appear inside your Goals tab in blue. Secondary goals are green.
To complete an episode and move on to the next one, you must complete all of your blue goals. Hello, I'm Bree Vandekamp. I was just having coffee with a few of the ladies of Wisteria Lane, and I was wondering if you'd like to join us. Just go across the street and to the left. It's the big blue house with brick on the bottom and the immaculate garden. You can't miss it. Excellent. See you soon. The map button shows you where everyone lives on Wisteria Lane and allows you to move around the neighborhood more easily. If you click somewhere on the map, you will walk to that location. If you double click on a house on the map, you'll move to that home immediately. Use the map to save time while moving around the neighborhood. If you're ever unsure of where to go, follow the blue compass arrow at your feet and it will guide you to where you need to go next in order to progress with your goals. You've just acquired an object. To look at it, click on the flashing inventory button, represented by a purse, in the lower left corner of the screen. You should check your mail every day. You never know what you're going to get. To do so, select your mailbox and then click on the Check Mail action. Tending your garden will raise your happiness need and increase your prestige in the neighborhood. To tend your garden, select the plot and then click on the Tend Garden action. Your Needs button helps keep track of how well you're taking care of your character. The four needs of your character are composure, happiness, social, and appearance. Click on various objects to see which actions will fulfill which needs. Your home panel shows you the status of your home and family. This panel is also where you can see how much money is in your budget and customize your home. Your relationship button shows you your current relationship with everyone else on Wisteria Lane. The green bar represents friendship. The blue bar represents respect. Increase your relationships by talking to people and helping them through tough situations. This is the home of Brie Vandekamp and her children, Andrew and Danielle. Brie is a perfectionist who runs a tight ship. Everything around her must be immaculate. Andrew and Danielle, on the other hand, don't really see eye to eye with her. Ever since her husband Rex died, Brie's control over her children has been slowly slipping away. I'm glad you could make it. And look at you, all dolled up for a girl's night out. I'm sorry to hear that. Why don't you make yourself at home and take a moment to meet everyone personally?
Hello. So nice to meet you. I'm Susan Mayer. Oh, I'm not married anymore. Just call me Susan. No, it's okay. Just the standard happy marriage turned bitter divorce. <laughs> At least I got something good out of it. My daughter, Julie. One day, I found out that my ex, Carl, was cheating on me with his secretary. So I did the only sensible thing. I kicked him out. Or he left. Depends on who tells the story, I guess. Well, I'm completely over him now. I can concentrate more on my children's books this way, too. So, tell me about yourself. What does your husband do? Really? I dated a doctor not that long ago. Dr. Ron. Didn't really end that well, though. <laughs> See, the thing is, I had just remarried my ex-husband for health insurance purposes, and I tried to protect Dr. Run's feelings by not telling him. But uh, for some reason, he didn't get that I was just looking out for him. You're right. I need to stop beating myself up over it. I had better let you get around to the other gals. But thanks for listening. I appreciate it. Why don't you make yourself at home? Everyone is excited to meet the new girl on Wisteria Lane. Howdy, neighbor. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'm Lynette Scavo. <laughs> Let me do a little preemptive strike here and apologize in advance for anything my brood might do to you or your house. <laughs> they are amazing kids, but you know how it is. Sometimes they just get a little out of hand, especially when the three boys get together. I find it's better to prepare the uninitiated for the worst. My twins sometimes act like they just escaped from a zoo, and my oldest just follows along on their adventures. When you work in advertising, you find all sorts of creative ways to deal with bad behavior. Tom and I found ways to handle them without resorting to spanking. Oh, <laughs> yes. We traded staying home with the kids for the first couple of years, but now we found a way for both of us to work and spend time with the kids. Excuse me? I was a stay-at-home mother for five years. I'm a great mother, and I couldn't love my kids any more than I do. Hey! I understand. Anyway, I don't want to keep you all to myself. It was good to meet you. Hello. I'm Gabrielle Solis, but you can call me Gabby. Mm. 
This old thing, it's nothing special. Stella gave it to me years ago, but around here, it's practically haute couture. Well, I don't want to be immodest, but I was actually an incredibly successful fashion model before I married Carlos and moved to Fairview. I suppose. I mean, I miss it sometimes. But life here still has plenty of excitement, believe it or not. So, what does your husband do? Mmm, a doctor. I guess we know that you're well taken care of. We should go shopping sometime. I know all the best places around here. You sound like a woman after my own heart. We're going to get along fine. It's been a real pleasure talking to you. Stop by my place anytime, neighbor. Now that we've gotten all the formal introductions out of the way, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself? Nice. And how long have you and your husband been together? Um, hello? You're a woman. Shouldn't that number be etched in your mind somewhere? That's a very strange thing to say. I'll say. Just what do you mean by that? My, I certainly wasn't expecting you to tell us that. I'm terribly sorry I asked. Perhaps we should move on. I don't know, Bree. It's not that bad. I know I've got more than a few moments in my life that I'd like to forget about altogether. Don't take this the wrong way, but that's just so weird. From what you're telling us, it sounds like there's a huge stretch of your life that you can't account for. How could she possibly take that the wrong way, Gabby? I'd like to take this time to apologize on Gabrielle's behalf. Apparently she's been taking notes from the Edie Britt School of Social Etiquette. All I'm saying is that when you only know about one half of your life, there's no telling when the other half might come back for a visit. Ladies? What do you say we cut the small talk and get down to business, hmm? I don't want our new neighbor to think I'm a snoop or anything, but I saw Edie do something questionable the other day. You won't think any less of me for divulging this bit of gossip, will you? I 
I saw her sneaking around and digging through people's mailboxes while I was out jogging. My mailbox? No, it wasn't any of ours. But I thought you should all know about it. What are you talking about? Ooh, I bet it's juicy. Have you opened it yet? Well, why not? Go on, open it. The truth is, Edie will find something on you sooner or later, so it's better if you strike first. Open it up. I'm not one to ordinarily condone tampering with people's mail, but I am curious what is in the envelope. Pills? So that's what she was looking for. I wonder what they are. They're probably special extra strength birth control pills. You know, considering how much Edie gets around. Or maybe it's something she puts in her date's drink to get them all riled up. Wouldn't put it past her. You are so going to fit in great around here. I agree completely. And while I would love to stay and continue this discussion, I gotta go before Tom lets the kids play one of his car racing video games again. Yeah, I better get going too. I have some work to do on my book. Your secrets button, indicated by a folder, is where all of the dirt that you've gathered on other people in the neighborhood is stored. Of course, if you do anything secret worthy, it will be listed here as well. Your inventory button, indicated by a purse, is where everything you pick up will be stored. If an item can be used immediately, a Use button will appear beneath it in your inventory. Simply click on that button to use the item. If you ever find yourself stuck, confused, or want to refer back to tips like these, you can check your Hints button indicated by a light bulb for a hint. Your Photos button, indicated by a camera, is where you can take photos of people and places. To take a photo, click on the Take Photo button, then rotate the camera to get the shot you want and click Take Photo. You can review your photos by clicking on them here or in the Extra section in the main menu.